Okay, so this tutorial is going to be on a oral surgery setup. Basically, it's identifying different types of oral surgery instruments, okay? So here is a 4x4 four four gauze. We use this to put in the patient's mouth, use it towards the back of the throat, so when they are extracting teeth, they won't swallow the tube. So it's to protect the patient. This here is a suture. Okay, generically people know it as, you know, stitches. When you're getting stitches put in, but this is a actual surgical suture. This instrument here is a hemostat. Okay, it opens and closes. And we call it a needle holder also because it can be used to hold the sutures. So when they're placing the suture, this tip of it holds it in. Okay. This is um, scissors that we use. We use it to cut the suture once the tie has been made. This actually is a one juror. A one juror a lot of times is used when during extraction, after the tooth has been extracted, you might have extra tissue to remove or even a piece of bone that's sitting there and you need to get it out. You would either use this run juror or sometimes they may use a hemostat. It's optional, it depends on the doctor. Okay, the function, you can do both functions with that. This is a root tip pick. We have two root tip picks. One is for the right side, if they're using it, and one is for the left. It's going east and west, really. Okay, they're going east and west. These are root tip picks. These are used to remove roots of the tooth. So if the tooth is broken off, and they don't even have a crown of the tooth is gone, so when they do an extraction, they go around with the high-speed handpiece and the surgical burr, and loosen it up in some way, they take this, the doctor takes this, and they elevate it and push the tooth up. And that's how the root of the tooth comes out. Now we're going over the forcep, right? So this is a forcep that's used for anterior teeth. We call this a 150 because forceps a lot of times are known by numbers, okay? And pretty much the ones that's used for, for maxillary has an S shape. 